So uh, Professor Liu is going to show you how to do your final project. So this final project is a, um, a project uh, com combined with several classes we call composition. Composition. That means uh, you will have several class work together uh, to make these projects. So when we look at these projects here, and we obvious the very uh, obviously we see invoice. So we'll decide invoice is our uh, leading classes, and we'll let invoice do the leading class. So now let's see what invoice will do. So invoice. So first of all, you need to identify some of them are variables. Some of them are uh, titles, like labels. So like invoice uh, here is a label. That's a label. This is a label. So label, you don't need to get another class to do it. But this address will be a variable because it will not be same small appliance all the time. It will be a, a shopping mall, it will be a grocery store, it will be anything to depend on your user. So since it will be a uh, change all the time, so it will be I ideally have another address to do that. So now we will encounter several label here. Number label one we we uh we saw this will be this line. Then we saw this item, quantity, price, and total. Those are labeled again. All right, so your invoice will display the label. We'll call the address, we'll call the address uh, to display the address. So the, the address, the how do you write the address will, uh, be um, done by address class. The item quantity print price and total that's just an easy uh, that's just an easy label. So we're going to let invoice do it. Once we do that, we'll find out this this is a vector because not every customer will buy three things. All right. Another thing is toaster. Not every customer is going to buy toaster. They may buy apple. They may buy um, uh, drinks. They may buy uh, blender. They may buy brush and buy everything. Okay, so that's a variable. And we based on our experience in shopping. We know uh, you will bring a product to a cashier. And when product and when the cashier scan the product, and two things will happen. That will be the item name. That will be item name, and that will be the unit price. That will be it. So these you need to understand. All right. So in this line, I actually should create a product class. Product class. All right. So. Uh, if you say, um, you know, you bring a toaster right there and you scan it once. All right, I, I'll get the toaster. The item name is toaster and uh, unit price $29.95. So uh, I want to purchase three. So either can manually type three or scan three times. Once scan three times, the quantity, the quantity will show and the total will show. So these will come out is called line item line item all right so for this class you actually have several class to go with this you have an invoice class and will uh, write this label and call address class then write these labels then write line item class, then eventually your uh, invoice class is going to uh, write the label for amount due and calculate amount due. Okay, 
So the user is a print invoice. Another programmer, another third party is going to use this class and feed in the information right here. It's okay. So let's take a look uh, how we do that right now. Okay. So we talk about these <coughs> on the uh, previous class. So uh, for the address, for the address, you need to create the address class. The address class need to have the store's name, street, and CT, CT any town is CT, uh, CA is date and zip code. All right, so you need to write a constructor, constructor, and to initialize all of these. So you take the input from your uh, print, the user uh, use invoice class. Then we are going to use a format. The format is important right now. So let's take a look your address format. So your address format is going to format exactly like this, what you want to do. You will format the name and you're going to new line and you format the street address going to a new line and you form a CT, put a comma and put a space. Then you are going to continue with the CA, that's a state. Then that's a space, you see. So you put a space plus zip. And between these address to next uh, component, I put a three uh, new line and I return. All right. So that will take that will act, take care of your uh, in, in address class. Let's take a look at the invoice. So the invoice here, okay. So the invoice here, <coughs> invoice, and so we notice your invoice in the invoice class. Uh, has an address class inside. This is called composition. All right, has address inside. That's called composition. So uh, the invoice actually will take um, all this information, but invoice will not <coughs> will not uh, do this information. Instead of will ask the billing address to initialize all this information. Okay, then. Uh, you are going to do the format. And let's take a look how uh, invoice to format. Because invoice is actually going to call uh, address to format. So remember, we have the same format uh, um, uh, function. We just continue override it. So let's take a look the invoice. So right here, the as I told you, your invoice is going to do this. You're going to display, remember, this is a label. So write a label. Then after you write a label, you are going to write the format for your street address, street address. So when we finish this, when we finish this, we are able to do this building. And we do start without debugging. All right. So we are here right now. We, we, we were able to write invoice like this. We were able to display the, the address. Address. All right. So we are going to continue. So this is part one. I hope you like.